वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जे बी आर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल So hello everyone. Today I'm going to start exercise 10.2 from the book of Emil Agarwal. This is the second video. This is the second video from that exercise triangles. For the previous one, please check the description box. So here the first problem in triangles ABC and PQR, angle A equal to Q and angle B equal to R. Which side of triangle PQR should be equal to the side AB of triangle ABC so that the two triangles are congruent? give reason of your answer so here there are two triangles abc and pqr now in these two triangles a equal to angle q and angle b equal to angle r so now that means here ab equal to qr ab equal to qr as ab is the side with this included two angles that means angle a and angle b are included sides are ab and here angle q and angle R the included side is QR so AB equal to QR so the re here the reason is two triangles are congruent of their corresponding two angles and included sides are equal okay remember that only the included sides are equal now the second one number two in number two in triangles ABC and PQR, angle A equal to angle Q, angle B equal to angle R. Which side of triangle PQR should be equal to side BC? Okay, to side BC of triangle ABC so that two triangles are congruent. Now, in that case, here uh, triangle BC, sorry, here um, side BC is equal to with PR. Now for the second one here side BC is equal to with PR as their included sides AB equal to QR will be equal for their congruency so when BC equal to PR second one BC equal to PR first one first one here AB equal to QR and second one here BC equal to PR now the third one if two angles and a side of one triangle are equal to two angles and a side of another triangle then the two triangles must be congruent is the statement true why the given statement can be true only if the corresponding that means included sides are equal otherwise not remember that this given statement will be true when the corresponding sides or the included sides are equal okay now the fourth one number four in the adjoining figure ad is the median of triangle abc so here ad is the median now what is the meaning of median median means a connecting line from the opposite from the opposite vertex to the opposite side midpoint that means here d is the midpoint of the side bc okay and bm and cn are the perpendiculars so here bm and cn are the perpendiculars drawn from b and c respectively on ad and ad produced ad produce means that means here ad produce to n so an is the ad produce and c is the perpendicular on n point and b is the perpendicular on m point prove that bm equal to cn you have to prove that bm equal to cn okay so for this to prove bm equal to cn first we have to prove here that means here this triangle bmd and d d n c these two triangles are congruent each other okay so we have to prove here that these two triangles are congruent triangles now first one as here d is the midpoint as a d is the median that means d is the midpoint so the first condition is b d equal to d c the first condition is b d equal to d c now the second condition as bm is the perpendicular cn is of the perpendicular that means this angle bmd equal to cnd both are 90 degree clear so first condition bd equal to dc second condition this angle and this angle equal to 90 degree now the 
third one third condition here angle bdm this one this angle and angle ndc this one are vertically opposite angle these two angles are vertically opposite angle so by these three condition we can say that bmd and bdnc these two triangles are congruent triangle now if these two triangles are congruent triangle then bm equal to cn you know that by cpct what is the meaning of cpct corresponding parts of congruent triangles now the fifth one okay the previous one is 4 so this one is 5 not 4 in the adjoining figure bm and dn are perpendicular so in this figure here bm and dn are perpendicular to the line segment ac ac is a line segment now if bm equal to dn so here bm equal to dn then prove that ac bisect bd okay now to prove ac bisect bd that means here you have to show that be here you have to show that be equal to de that means e is the midpoint now to prove be equal to ed so here the first triangle uh, dne dne and the second triangle bem you have to show that these two triangles are congruent triangle to prove that be equal to ed first we have to show that these two triangles are congruent triangle okay so here first one here the first one dn equal to bm as it given that dn equal to bm first condition next condition this angle and this angle equal to 90 degree so angle dne and angle bme that equal 90 degree this is the second condition a third condition this angle this one den and this one bem these two angles are vertically opposite angles so that means by these three condition this one equal to this one that means congruent this triangle equal to congruent triangles so by aas okay triangle d n e and triangle b e m are congruent triangles by the rule of congruency a a s that means angle angle side now if these two triangles are congruent triangles that means here d e equal to e b by c p c t now if d e equal to e b that means a c bisect b d at the point e now some number six okay it's a very easy chapter uh, you saw that each and every problem you have to prove that two triangles are congruent triangles okay so very carefully listen my words and you will understand each and every problem very easily so here in the adjoining figure l and m are two parallel lines okay so l and m are two parallel lines so that is l and that one m intersected by another pair of parallel lines that is p and q so here p and q are another parallel lines so that triangle abc where is abc abc is congruent with triangle cda that means here you have to prove that these two triangles are congruent triangles okay now to prove these two triangles are congruent triangle you have to show three conditions first one here the condition number one ac is the common side of these two triangles that means ac equal to ac is a common side first one next number two here this angle this one equal to this one as l and m as l and m are parallel lines that means this angle equal to this one it's called alternate angles remember that as L and M are equal, that means this angle equal to this one, it's called alternate angles. As same as this one equal to this one. This angle equal to this one. Because here P and Q, here P and Q are also parallel lines. So this angle equal to this one. So that means by these three condition, as this side 
is common side this angle equal to this one this angle equal to this one so we can say these two triangles are congruent triangles by the rule of angle angle side a a s okay so it's proved next one sum number seven in the adjoining figure two lines a b and c d intersect each other at the point o such that b c parallel d a so here b c parallel to d a and b c equal to d a so here b c also equal to d a so that o is the midpoint of both the line segment a b and c d okay that means you have to show that o is the midpoint that means o b equal to o a and o c equal to o d now to show o is the midpoint here you have to first prove that these two triangles are congruent triangles so that means in this exercise is each and every problem in this exercise each and every problem first you have to find out the two triangles and then you have to prove that these two triangles are congruent triangles and then the theory or the problems which you want to solve it easily solve out so here first you have to prove these two triangles are congruent triangles so okay let's start so here the first condition first condition is bc equal to ad it's given bc equal to ad first condition is given second one this angle equal to this one that means boc equal to aod boc equal to aod what is the reason reason is it's a vertically opposite angle okay boc equal to aod it's a vertically opposite angle now the third condition what is the third condition as here bc parallel da as here these two sides are parallel that means definitely this angle equal to this one okay so obc equal to oad what is the reason it's a alternate angles okay it's a alternate angles so by this three condition triangle boc and triangle aod are congruent with each other now if these two triangles are congruent with each other that means oc equal to od by cpct and ob equal to oa also cpct so that means o is the midpoint of these two sides ab and cd next sum number eight in the adjoining figure b c d equal to a d c okay where is b c d this one the small one b c d equal to a d c so we have also the small one and b c a b c a the upper one and b a d a so here the upper one so that triangle a c d congruent with triangle b d c triangle a c d congruent with triangle b c d okay so that means first you have to find out three conditions to prove these triangles are congruent with each other so to prove these two triangles are congruent each other first you have to prove three condition so here the first condition angle bcd that means this one bcd equal to angle adc second condition cd cd is the common side of these two triangles acd and bcd also now to we have to find out the third condition now here here this angle equal to this one and this angle equal to this one that means if you add these two triangles if you add these two triangles and you also add these two angles sorry not triangle it's angle if you add these two angles and here also if you add these two angles so the addition the addition of these two angles will be equal to the addition of these two angles okay suppose first if this one equal to x and this one equal to y then as this angles equal to this one so it's also x and this one equal to y so that means here also x plus y and here also x plus y so from left hand side angle bcd plus angle acb equal to angle adc plus angle adb now if you add these two angle you will get the whole angle acd so right here acd and if you add these two angle you will get bdc so here bdc okay so that is the third condition angle acd equal to angle bdc 
that means by these three conditions by these three condition you can say these two triangles are congruent triangle by angle angle side rule of congruency okay so now that is the first proof second proof we have to show that bc equal to ad bc equal to ad now if these two triangles are congruent triangle then this side equal to this one by cpct as same as the third one you have to show angle a equal to angle b it's also by cpct sum number 9 in the adjoining figure angle abc equal to angle acb so angle abc equal to angle acb d and e are the points on the side ac and ab respectively such that here be here be equal to cd such that be equal to cd so first you have to prove that triangle ebc are congruent with triangle dcb okay so that means from first uh, one to prove these two triangles are congruent triangle first you have to show three conditions so here the first condition bc is the common side okay that means bc equal to bc number 2 second condition eb equal to dc eb equal to dc it's given and the third condition here the third condition is angle abc angle abc which is included with the triangle ebc that means here ebc so write down here ebc equal to angle dcb okay so that means by these three condition we can say that triangle ebc are congruent with triangle dcb by angle side side okay ass angle side side conditions now as here these two triangles ebc are congruent with triangle dcb that means you can easily say that this angle equal to this one by cpct okay so here the next proof number 2 this is a first one now number 2 here you have to prove triangle oeb and triangle odc are congruent with each other okay so is the first condition oeb oeb so first here eb equal to cd it's given second one angle this one this angle and this angle are vertically opposite angle so eob equal to doc and the third one third one these two angles are equal so angle beo equal to angle odc okay so by this three condition we can say here oeb are congruent with triangle odc okay by side angle angle by side angle angle now the third one you have to prove ob equal to oc ob equal to oc okay so that means by this condition by this uh, try, sorry here in 2 in proof number 2 as these two triangles are congruent with each other then by cpct ob equal to oc it's proved